Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's children have new titles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son and daughter are now Prince Archie of Sussex and Princess Lilibet of Sussex. Early Thursday, the update was made on the royal family's official website in its line of succession section where the duo is listed sixth and seventh behind their father, cousins, and uncle Prince William. The pair were previously titled as Master Archie Monbatten Windsor and Miss Lilibet Monbatten Windsor. The prince and princess change comes as their grandfather, King Charles, is now the British monarch following the death of Queen Elizabeth in September. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan told Access Hollywood that, quote, the children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch. This matter has been settled for some time in alignment with Buckingham Palace. The changes are in accordance with the precedent established by King George V after he issued a letters of patent in 1917, granting the titles of prince or princess to male grandchildren of the sovereign. The three-year-old and one-year-old did not originally receive titles when they were born, as they were great-grandchildren of the monarch at the time. Archie was entitled to become Earl of Dumbarton at the time of his birth, but the couple chose not to use it. The recent switch to prince and princess comes amid continued reports of turmoil between the Sussexes and the royals, following the debut of Harry's bombshell memoir, Spare. Access Hollywood recently spoke to DailyMail.com editor Charlie Langston about how the royal family might have felt about its release. Hugely mixed emotions. I think anyone who has seen their name dragged through the mud by a family member in such a public forum couldn't help but feel huge amounts of hurt, uh, betrayal, but also anger, especially because of all people, Harry is very much aware that senior members of the royal family are bound by certain rules that prevent them from acknowledging attacks like this. Only on very, very rare occasions will the palace comment on allegations, accusations, rumors, and so on. And even when they do comment, it is a very short one-line response. When William, for example, said, we are very much not a racist family. When Buckingham Palace issued a statement about the Oprah interview saying that recollections may vary. At no point has anyone inside the palace walls been given the opportunity to defend themselves, and Harry knows this. In one of his TV interviews to, pu to publicize the book, he parrots the fact that the royal family's motto is never complain, never explain. So he knows that their hands are tied and that there is very little that they can do to defend themselves. So he is effectively shouting attacks at his brother, at Kate, at Charles, at Camilla, all of whom have metaphorical tape over their mouths. And that is the written version of kicking someone when they are down.